So, welcome, welcome. Jack, how are things today? So, for anyone who's not aware, what you're looking at is current leading British super sport guy, Jack Kennedy, Dubliner. Jack, maybe for, uh, for anyone who's watching and they're not aware, give us an idea who you are, maybe your age, where you're from, what you've been doing the last maybe one or two years, what's been happening? Name is Jack Kennedy. Uh -huh. I'm uh, 40 years old. Um, to do a little memory count there. <laughs> um, and I'm from Clancilla in Blanchetown. Uh, cool. Been racing uh, a good few years now. The last sort of few years would have been two years in World Super Sports um, in 13 and 14. And yeah. Two years in British Superbike in 15 and 16. And then the last two years back in British Super Sport, which um, I've really enjoyed yeah. the last sort of two years of racing. And um, we're with the Colin Appleyard Macadam R6 team this year. So uh, really enjoying the racing so far. Yeah, so one of the things there for anyone watching, you're your kind of super bikes are obviously your big thousand cc bikes and Jack was on those for one or two seasons, two, two seasons, right? And then back to 600 super sports. So just out of curiosity, is that kind of where you found your happy place on the on the other bike or do you see yourself back on a big bike at some stage or what do you reckon? 2015 wasn't too bad on the WD40 Kawasaki. We had some good results. Um, we had some some bad results as well, but um, 16 didn't go too well. We had a lot of uh, a lot of crashes, a lot of injuries in 16. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't too much fun to be uh, injured for most of the year in 16. But what uh, kind of injuries did you have back then? Oh jeez. Where do you start? Uh, a bit of everything: <laughs> ankles, wrists, okay, uh, shoulders, fingers, all that sort of stuff. Um, just wasn't really getting on with the bike and and stuff like that, but. Uh, 70 and then we went to the MV Augusta and I suppose I really started enjoying racing again you know we started to get back on the podium got a good few wins it was a good season yeah and now this year really feel at home on the on the new R6 as well. Yeah so maybe to explain so you know the beginning of the season we kind of saw you over in Thailand and we saw you on a triumph and and now you're back in the UK on a Yamaha so what was the kind of the change that went happening there? Well, the, the Triumph sort of option just came out of nowhere, really. I, I've, I've, I've ridden the Triumph last year in World Supersport as a wild card when um, Stephen Hill got injured. So, okay. Stephen Hill got injured again in Australia at the start of the year, and I got the phone call um, off Pete Staple for asking me, did I want to go to Thailand to ride it? So, I didn't really have to think too long and hard about that. I just had to get the um, the clearance from my team manager, Robin Appleyard, who thought it would be a great idea, which was, was good for me. Yeah, um, that's what I was wondering. Like, does the existing team have a, a, big have a bit of a problem say, with it? Or, yeah. They have to say, you know, it's not down to me at the end of the day. So, Robin thought it would be a great idea to get some miles under our belt before the season starts, get us up to speed, some nice hot temperatures as well, and to be racing with the World Super Sports best. So, yeah. it, was a, it was a good trip all around. And, um, it's paid off. It has paid yeah. off. It was great to get a race on their belt before the season started. Um, yeah, and get us uh, tuned in for, for, for the first round. Yeah, it certainly has. So maybe give us an idea last weekend, like for anyone who's not seen this yet, after this video, hop out onto YouTube, search for uh, search for the British Superbike YouTube channel and have a look at some of the passes that happened in round two at Brands Hatch. So you had a pass with one foot off the foot peg coming down the main straight into that right hand corner. Give us an idea of what's happening there. Was that something that was planned? Was that Half. Half planned, yeah. <laughs> Half planned. Um, I knew I had to get by James Rispoli because... This is the American guy, right? It's the Amer yeah. He took off when it was sort of spitting rain and he had a good pace, but I knew I had to sort, sort of close him down and get ahead of him in case this race was red flagged and he got the results. So I knew I had to get to the front. So I'm slipstreaming him down the start finish. And we had a bit of a headwind as well. And I managed just to get... I got sucked in a lot and then when I pulled out the brake when I grabbed the front brake and lifted the back wheel off the ground and it like sent me into the side of him and he turned in way tighter than I anticipated. Did you guys touch? Well. Yeah it was rubbing shoulders yeah, right. going in so I didn't think we were going to come out the other side of it but I managed to make the pass make the apex and still get out of the corner in front so uh, it, was a bit, it was it was one of them heart in the in the in the mountain moments but uh we managed to come out the other side of it and is he still talking to you yeah he thought he, he said he could feel his bike getting sucked back at the last minute where i was getting the big draft and then he said he just seen someone coming up the inside and, he, and uh well he was okay about it which was good yeah. he thought it was uh, a close hard move but uh there was no um hard feelings really okay okay good stuff good stuff well it is the start of the season so we'll see how the atmosphere is towards the yeah. towards the end but i tell you it's great to watch it it's some serious bit of racing so a couple of questions that have come in we stuck it up on the Facebook page and on the Instagram this morning that you were coming in and a couple of ones that have arrived in from people. So where do we start? 
Bam, bam, bam. Road bike versus your bike. What's the biggest differences that you can see? Now you happen to be sitting on an R1, which is the 1000cc model. You're on a 600 one of these, but you know where do you even start? You start is it with wing mirrors? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have them anyway. They'd so have, from a dash they'd down, they'd actually be handy in a race. <laughs> well, they might have helped. Uh, they might have helped Raspoli maybe a little bit, but. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, you've got the the standard clock, and you've no Motec, and you've got a lot more electronical switches for lights and horn and all that sort of stuff, which we obviously don't need. Have you ridden one of these on a road bike before? I haven't actually ridden yeah. the new R1 on in a, in a road bike, um, but I'd, I'd love to get out on a spin. I just need. Um, uh, road yeah, we might have to get you out with some. <laughs> we might have to get you out with a few of our customers now. We're yeah. going to do a ride out of Hink in two or three weeks' time for anyone who's watching. So. Well, then we've got the uh, obviously we've got the tires and suspension and chain and uh, all the all the engine uh, modifications and all that sort of stuff. So there's a good few differences between this and gotcha. So another one that's come in, and I'm guessing you've had this question before. When are we going to see you? in Isle of Man, in one of the international road races. Is that going to happen? Is that something for Jack Kennedy or...? Standing at the side of the yeah. road, maybe an ice cream in my hand. Cheering someone uh, on? Yeah, but uh, I think that'll be about it, you know. Not for you? I don't think so. Like, I love watching the Isle of Man, TT Northwest, all that sort of stuff, and I have huge respect for all them, the guys that do it, but uh, I don't think it's for me. I'm more focused in the, in the short circuit and track racing, and um, I think of enough injuries without the on the roads. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, not to worry. Another one that's come in from one of the lads. When are we going to see you on one of the all moto mega bikes grass track events this year? Are we going to see you out, uh, out, out racing time, a dirt yeah. bike? <laughs> I think we might see him soon enough. On one. Have we got a bike there that we can get him out on? Him. Yeah. How would Colin Appleyard feel about you riding the Yamaha out in the grass track? Well, the, the best thing about the team that I'm riding for, you know, the team um, owner manager is Robin Appleyard, who's an ex racer. So, okay. The great thing about that is if you tell him you want to do as we done uh, Thailand on the Triumph, you know, I'm thinking of doing this, he'll say brilliant idea, more, more bike time, get you more race fit. He, so he doesn't really see any problem with me riding other stuff like that or doing any races, so that's yeah. a big benefit of having a, an ex-rider as a team owner. Yeah, it certainly is. So on the team maybe, where are they based and who's actually turning spanners and looking and building these bikes for you and what's happening there? They're based in Yorkshire and um, the, the, the main fella who's working on the bike doing all the prep is Alex um, Smith. Um, he does all the prep away from the track and he's my electronics guy then at the track and okay. at, at the track we have the truck driver who is um graham who turns the spanners every weekend and uh you know i have to give a big credit to the lads out in spain we never had one issue and they, they've just walked um seamlessly through the last two rounds as well so uh yeah. it's, it's it's fairly refreshing and it's uh great to have that confidence in the lads going out every session yeah certainly are. the bikes are looking stunning anyway the way they put the team together is uh it's a credit to them in fairness and uh, maybe give us an idea who else is kind of around so it's all glitz and glam on your Saturday and Sunday when you're on the telly what's going on during the week like are you, are you back in Ireland are you over in Spain or what, what's happening yeah we're working this grinding it out five shift yeah. as well um, working for one of my friends in Abtow Recovery driving a tow truck so uh, super kept busy with that working full time and then trying yeah. to get the gym in as well then yeah we see you all the time you're uh, you're good at keeping the posts online so for anyone who's interested is Instagram your main one, Jack, or are you still tweeting as well? Or yeah, what's the both really? Yeah. Instagram, uh, Twitter, and the Facebook racing page then as well at Jack Kennedy Racing. So uh, yeah. yeah, we kept busy with uh, work, training, yeah. eating, and sleeping. Really, what's the body like at the minute? Are you, are you all bolted back together and in good yeah, shape? Or? Yeah. yeah, body's fairly good. Uh, trying to improve it all the time as yeah. you do. Uh, trying to get a good bit of yoga in as well to keep it more flexible. Yeah, you were saying that earlier to uh, improve all the yeah. injuries and sort of stuff like that, you know, with the back Enjoy and ankles and all. Yeah, it's tough, like, it's not, um, level two yoga is not to be laughed at, you yeah. know, and sometimes there might be um, an older age woman that can do a pose better than you, and you're thinking, what's going on here, like, but, yeah, uh, yeah no, it's great, and it's great for the body and mind as well, yeah. Yeah, great, super stuff. So when I came into the room a few minutes ago, you guys were, uh, you were having the pure <laughs> chat and banters about what was going on at the podium and who was saying what. Are we getting any of that back out in camera or is that a... I think we were just commenting <laughs> on how refreshing it was to see Raspoli up on the, on the podium and in the interviews. He's a, he's yeah. a great excitement about him and he's a good laugh. He's a nice laugh. like a breath of fresh air really. Like, cause yeah. I, he got me more excited about my win than I got excited about. <laughs> yeah, you are hyping you up. Was just, he was just, ah, oh, he was just on the limiter. He was on the bike, yeah. and when he came in, you know, he's just, you know, the American uh, 
team and the whoop whoop and everything on the podium. <laughs> just, he was just he was so excited, you know, it's been a while since he's been on the podium. Yeah. So it's just great to see somebody as happy as that to get a good result and to see him back up there because yeah. I've been there myself, it's really tough when, when things aren't working out and you haven't been on the podium in a long time and you just keep putting the effort in, keep putting the hours training in. And, and this is know, what I don't think everyone sees, like you guys are grinding. Like you could be yeah. two years without a podium and like, yeah. if, if you, like if you're not getting the results and you start to lose sort of, I don't know what you say, interest, like you're not going to get any better by working less and doing less. You, yeah. like it's, it's really hard when you're not getting the results and you're still, you're tired, you're going to work and you have to go to the gym after all that sort of stuff. And But you need to put 110% in when things aren't going right because like you need to be working 110% on yourself and on your body to be the best version you can be and then yeah. you can only do so well on the machinery you're giving them but when the two click together that's when that's when the results come and fair play to James you know he's put the effort in and yeah. he's back up the front so it'd be great to see him battling with me and Ben and hopefully get a few more into the mix as yeah. well because it it's, seems to be the two of us sort of taking off in the last few races. It's a good outlook on it and for anyone who's, uh, who's serious about their racing the last minute or two, which you've just heard, is exactly kind of where the difference comes in. Maybe give us an idea as well. Where can people kind of keep an eye on you throughout the year? So we're looking... It is Eurosport, right? I'm yep. trying to remember where I spotted it, yeah. Eurosport, Eurosport yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, boat races are live. And um, sometimes you have the qualifying on there as well. So yeah, Saturday evening, normally 5 o'clock. And then Sunday around 3 o'clock. Yeah. Eurosport yeah. too. And the usual Insta, Facebook, Twitter, Insta, all Facebook, that kind of stuff. Twitter, all that sort of yeah. stuff for all the sort of updates and how the weekend is going and stuff like that. Yeah, cool, cool. And just the reason Jack is in here today, he's picking up his boots. Cool. Self my start super tech boots. Yeah. yeah. Vented. Yeah, Very for nice. The nice hot weather. Cool. We've, uh, three days of summer here in Ireland, so we said we <laughs> yeah. get a set of vented boots. It mightn't look it because we're indoors right now, but we're seeing the first bit of hot weather in Ireland in uh, Italia, the longest winter in history, but for us, we, what it feels like anyway. Okay, guys, we give it a wrap at that. Is there anyone else you're getting a shout out while we're uh, while we're chit chatting? Ah, oh, no, I think I mean I suppose I suppose some people are wondering like how your race day starts, like you know, mm. in the morning. So you you know what 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 do you do with your race weekend? Well, we're uh, first thing is wake up at the track and get the get the porridge into you really. You stay at the track? Yeah, stay at the track. Yeah, the caravan off to Mackenzie. So uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's it's a lot better being at the track. Well, I'm more comfortable being at the track than doing the hotel thing and yeah. going to the hotel each morning and all that sort of stuff. I prefer to be there, wake up, you're there. So yeah, it's up, up in the morning, have the breakfast. Normally it's pit walk then on a on a Sunday morning. So to see the fans, do the signatures and all that sort of stuff, meet everyone. Yeah, so anyone who's there can kind of get up and get pretty close yeah, in that morning. Yeah, yeah. can have a chat and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So then you've, they'll have the uh, morning warm up then, which is 10 minutes on track. Yeah. To try any last little changes you want to try before the race, and then it's uh, get the get the food in, get get hydrated, maybe have a little twenty minute rest just yeah. to uh, get away from everyone, you know, away from the noise. Yeah. And yeah. then it's uh, get stretched, get warmed up, and get get ready to go. Yeah, super, super. And you get back in for naps during the day to try and keep the energy level up, just or are you too race, wired? Just on the race day, as I said, to you, you just try and get twenty minutes or half an hour just with nobody around, you know, mm. no one talking. You just have a little just to shut down because it, it's so hectic on a race weekend in the garages there's people everywhere and yeah. noise everywhere and sort of always someone always sort of wants to see you or talk to you so as i said get them 20 minutes in and uh, it can do uh, wonders for them yeah yeah super stuff superb when you're out next jack uh, we've got a test in Alton Park um, this Thursday coming, so really looking forward to that. Alton Park's a track that I really like, and I mm. think uh, you know this the new R6 is getting better and better every time we ride it. We're getting mm. more comfortable on it. Is more, Rispoli on that too? More confident. No, he's on the older R6, oh. but uh, the lads are doing a great job setting it up. You know, every race we we do, we feel more comfortable, more confident on it. So really looking forward to getting out at Alton Park at a track that I really love. Yeah. And then it's the weekend after that. Then is the race weekend, Bank Holiday, the Round Bank three. Holiday weekend. Yeah. Cool, okay. Twelve rounds, right? Yeah. And one in Assen. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay. Any other uh any other pending questions? Uh, I don't think so. Cool. We can wrap it up. Better do some real work. Absolutely. Yeah. Try and sell some of uh, all these leathers and everything else that's in the background. And maybe this bike. Yeah. Cool. Alright Jack, look, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for popping in. Best of luck with the rest of the season and we'll catch you on uh, on the telly box. Thanks very much. See you soon.